Hey YouTube, this video is going to feature some of my favorite double-edged designs, daggers, yes. Starting from left to right, we have ZT150, uh, Felniven Garm, Miltac uh, Spec Op Warrior, Blackhawk UKSFK, Gerber Mark II, Entrek Close Combat, Scorpion Knives Fighting Dagger, Cold Steel Peacekeeper, uh, Fairbairn Sykes Commando Dagger, Microtech Crosshair Curahi, and Gerber De Facto. Now, pretty much all of these daggers you see before you are higher end production daggers. Most of them are $100 and up, with the exception of the Fury uh, Fairbairn Sykes dagger, which was only about, I think it was like $20, $25 on Amazon. But I've included it because it's, it's a beautiful piece if you collect daggers, if you like that World War II history. All right. And oh, the Gerber, I believe the Gerber is 80 or 90 right now. Okay, so a little less than 100, but all the rest, above $100. You know, for a long time, I would never, ever purchase an expensive dagger. I just figured, you know, the chance that you're going to use it is fairly low, hopefully. But even if you did somehow have to use one, uh, I figured, why would I need, you know, good fit and finish and expensive steel? Um, it's a fairly straightforward one-purpose blade. So why would I need a quote-unquote really good one? Um, but then, but then I tried a few of the higher-end production daggers. And I have to say, once you start collecting the better-made daggers, it is kind of addictive. Um, you can check out my reviews of that Scorpion dagger, the Entrek Close Combat, the Blackhawk UKSFK. These are just... These are just beautiful blades. There's something about the symmetry uh, of the double-edged dagger design. Um, I think it's just appealing to many people who collect cutlery. All right, let's just do a little close-up run down this row of infamy. Uh, you know, that Miltac dagger, you know, it might not look like much with the, um, the bead blast finish, but that was actually designed uh, by Ray Ennis. All right, and it is a very effective design. All right, just more completely gratuitous, full frontal knife porn here. Satin finishes, mirror finishes. You know, and I, I know, you know, some of you like it black, so there it is. And, all right, that Blackhawk knife, I can tell you right now, that is the best the best fighting blade that Black Hawk has, bar none, both in terms of effectiveness and uh, just the quality. The thickness, quarter inch thick, D2, the grind is perfect. It's basically the modern and improved version of that knife, the Sykes Fairbairn Dagger. All right, and just a few close-ups, because I've reviewed most of these or shown them in other videos, but now this Entrek Close Combat, I mean, this is, an, this is a near-perfect design. Right, I mean, if I, were, if I were a soldier going someplace horrible, you know, I'd probably carry something like this. I mean, look at, look how thick the tang is, and, you know, this will reach vitals. I mean, this is, this is freaking Darth Vader's dagger over here. Black Hawk UKSFK, another extremely sturdy dagger. Look how thick. D2, tool steel. And, you know, the first trick, you know, people say this is a pretty expensive for a dagger. You know, I've seen this being sold for $170. Well, your first trick, don't pay, don't pay that much. I got this at Knife Supply for 130 all right? But, I mean, as daggers go, you know, people often ask, you know, what, what's the top of the line? I mean, aside from custom, what's the top of the line dagger? Uh, for me, it's something like this. Excellent blade. 
these little guys. You know, I keep showing these in different videos because they're just great blades. They're great little boot knife. Basically, if you want a boot knife, either of these two is the top of the line for production boot knives. And these are, you know, these are two of my favorite companies, Zero Tolerance and Fel Niven. The Garm, this is um, named after a mythological a mythological, uh, basically a monster dog that guards the gates of hell, and you know, I mean, it'll also send it also send you to hell if you're not careful. And this ZT knife, yeah, and an expensive knife, but I mean, if you really put yourself in a position of you know someone who would actually need it, well worth the price. And the Gerber Mark II, you know, this is a recreation of a design that was used in Vietnam and uh, you know one of the one of the unofficial the unofficial mottos Vietnam it was death is our business and business is good and uh, you know if that makes you feel a little uncomfortable and a little uneasy hearing hearing stuff like that that was said in wartime and was actually carried out in wartime too, you know, maybe you just shouldn't look up, maybe you just shouldn't be watching dagger videos, I mean, they're not for everyone. As for me, a weapon is a weapon. You know, people say, why would you own, you know, I have about 12 firearms, why do you have guns? Why, why do you have knives? I always say, well, you know, let's say you didn't have a weapon and someone tried to take your life. What's the first thing you would do? You'd probably pick up a stick, pick up a rock. You would try to arm yourself. You know, those evolutionary instincts would take over to try and survive. So why do I, you know, why do I own guns? Why do I own blades? Because I don't feel like fighting with a rock or a stick. Another Gerber dagger. You know, I like these Gerber daggers a heck of a lot more than uh, than some of the other Gerbers. This is also S30V as well, this Gerber de facto. I've reviewed this. Yeah, I, I like this a hell of a lot more than the, uh, the Gerbers with the cheap mystery steel and the freaking rusty blades and the liner locks that don't lock. You know, this these US made Gerbers you know, this is like, you know, it's like one of the only reasons to buy a Gerber. Get the U.S. made ones with the S30V and you're good. Alright, and let's go out with this uh, Sanmai 3 Peacekeeper. You know, and what can I say? They're daggers. They're politically incorrect. And, um, you know, that that's how I like it. You know, don't, uh... <laughs> Don't be a punk. Don't end up fighting with a rock or a stick, you know, and, you know, if you can afford most of these daggers or all of these, then chances are you're not going to have to fight because you don't live in a, you don't live in some war-torn ghetto, but, uh, you know, just because you might be, might be safe and secure in your home, doesn't mean you should forget history or forget the violent past of humanity in general and um, you know the violent past can become the violent present pretty quickly things go wrong or it's just your unlucky day that is a beautiful blade all right YouTube well hope you enjoyed my ramblings stay tuned for many more videos I'm out